Okay, hello, welcome. I hope everyone's doing well tonight, or today, whatever. Uh, we're going to be continuing with Pool of Radiance tonight. Stop. As usual. <laughs> uh, let's get this going. Last time we were... Uh, we finished off Mendor's library. And we had dealt with part of the enemies in Podal Plaza, was it? No, or was, it was the textile factory. We'd actually been uh, clearing out that area a fair bit. Uh, let me just get companion up. There we go. Okay. Also, noted this. I... That's the wrong one. Editing. Did that reset? Hmm. They like that. I think at some point the uh character bar up the top there had realigned wrongly. Um I assume when the character an extra character was added, so I think their health bars was cut off a little bit. Which is unfortunate. Um, is this? That's that. Why is it there? Right. I was wondering why the top part of that. Yeah, that's a bit nicer. A little bit smaller, but you get to see the entire of entirety of the border. Uh, okay. So, uh. <laughs> Enough fiddling around with windows. Um, let's see. Last time we had Scampers are still leveled up. Orkmar's nearly leveled up, and we had been going through, as I said, uh, the textile factory area, and uh, we dealt with a hobgoblin there called Grishnak, along with her. A uh, group of uh, compatriots, I suppose. We actually also went into this area down here. Turns out there's a temple hidden in here which we can use to heal and rest. Though I need a knock spell to be get to be able to get through these doors, uh, which we do have. Uh, we also learnt some new magic last time through magic scrolls, so I have a bit more flexibility in that regard. Uh, what else? Also, I had a comment on my YouTube videos for this, and uh, it was mentioned that I could be using bows against the ghouls and the whites. Uh, normal arrows against ghouls, I suppose because they don't require magical attacks or magical weapons to hit, and I could be using silver arrows against the white, which I assume silver arrows count as magical? Perhaps they don't count as plus one, so they're just normal arrows except they can hit creatures which require magic that might be the difference with them um so yeah i do have some magical arrows and it actually made me think of a tactic i could use against them that i could flood the corridor or flood a corridor with stinking clouds and while they're unable to get to me through the clouds i could equip balagar and arala with bows and shoot them from a distance um that might help I, I kind of think I'd end up missing a lot, but, you know, it's worth a shot. Pun not intended. Okay, so, Balagar, you do have a bow. You have a short bow, which is a short bow plus one. And we've got some arrows. I think some of these are magical. I forget which ones. Possibly these ones. Um, And Rala also has some... Yeah, magic short bow and some magical arrows, which I assume are these. We might have to fiddle around. They might be these ones. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I could try that. Hmm. I go here and look. Oh, scorpions. Well, that's not what I wanted to be. I was going to try and make, uh, like, force them to spawn. The uh, 
Oh, you're equipped with your broadsword. Uh, force the uh, ghouls to spawn in this area, but looks like we're going to be fighting some scorpions. That's fine. They're not that bad. Ow, ow. Um. God. I mean, they're bad if we don't actually end up being able to hit them. Punch. Yeah, he deals. Skullcrusher just deals a flat eight damage every time he uh, attacks. That's pretty nice. Oh dear. That scorpion's going up, up and around. Bonk. Thank you. And so was that one. Are we going to have to chase after them? They're being kind of dumb. Oh yeah! Ow. Oh yes, also, uh, this one here was 20 hit points. That's a giant scorpion. Huge scorpion, and it has deadly poison. Which I believe means that the poison, if it hits you and you fail your saving throw, you just die. Very pleasant. Uh, quit. Guard. You can go here, guard. Those are both over to the side there. Let's just go down the hallway. I have to chase after them because they're trying to climb through the wall. There we go. And there. They're going after Elspeth. Uh, quit. There we go. Hopefully they'll be able to find their way around again. And I won't have to chase after them up that hallway. <laughs> that guard I want to keep my characters all together so that if they do suddenly round the corner uh where is it there it is no not ally uh there we all get the uh guard attacks off on it quit uh move to there Move to there. You're there. You can move to there. Uh, you can stay back, Skull Crusher, because you're not wearing any armor. As far as I can tell. And I don't particularly want you to die. Come on. Are we going to have to go out of here? I really don't want to. Oh. Well. That solved that problem. And that was the huge, that was the huge scorpion as well. Uh... Cast. We can't hold person them because they're not people. I can't cast cure light wounds because they're rather too far away. I can curse it. Yeah. Hold. Okay. Well, we cursed the uh, huge scorpion. Quit. God. Bonk. Uh, guard. Oop! Hit! Hit! Ha ha! Oh! Wow! That was just a normal scorpion though. I suppose you just failed your saving throw. You're poisoned, you're dead. <clears throat> well! Time to reload. Ah! Everything was going well. And then we failed a saving throw. I don't know how I feel about it. On the one hand, I'd like poison being so deadly. 
uh, because it makes it a big deal. However, on the other hand, it is not. It, it's kind of nice that in say Neverwinter Nights, the uh, 3D game. Like I have to differentiate that. There is several Neverwinter Nights games. I think there's actually a Neverwinter Nights game from the SSI pack. Um, I think there was like a early MMO type game of called Neverwinter Nights. I think it was like a. I think it was like a mud. Kind of. I never played it. I didn't even know about it until later. I haven't even looked at it to see what it was like. But yeah, apparently that was the thing. Um, oh, hello. That's what I was looking for. Some ghouls decide to add to you, add you to their menu. Battle begins. Oh, and they're right up in our face. Lovely. I may as well just reload straight away. Uh, um, turn. Ooh. Hey, you, wow, you, you managed to turn them all. That means I think that they'll start trying to flee. Uh, rather than attack us. Well, I say that. Uh, go here. Cast. Stinking cloud. Go there. Uh, you can go here, cast, stinking cloud, there. Does stinking cloud get longer distance the higher level you are? Ow. Ooh, good. Uh, cast, stinking cloud, right here. The white didn't get affected. Uh, Rana's dying. And Elspeth was level drained. Uh, curse? Punch. Cast magic missile. I'm pretty sure Magic Missile doesn't, uh, count as incapacitate. Um, wow. Ah. Can I see what turning the undead does? No, it's not listening anything. Cast. Magic Missile. I think that said the uh, clouds clear. The air clears a little or something like that. God. I'm gonna sleep. Sleep's not gonna do anything. Nope. Uh... Bam. Magic whistle. Bam. God. Uh. Cast. Oh. <laughs> Cast knock on them. Yes. Open up the heart of those ghouls. Dead. Guard. Guard! Well, I got the fight. It wasn't at all how I wanted it, but... Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Reload! Hmm. Hmm. Let me see. Yeah, the thing is... I'm just looking over at my capture and the, um, the, uh, character bar is off-centered now, and I don't know why. It's not actually showing currently on my screen. Disabled. It's all right now. Hmm. 
Maybe it's because it changes size when they get the new when they get the other bonuses attached to them. Is there anything I can do about that? Possibly shrink it a little. Give it a bit more buffer space around it. There, but that makes it harder to see. It's just a text wall. Eh. Okay, I apologize if it ever gets cut off. Um. I mean, you can still see their stats on the uh, main game screen. That's just a little bit of an extra up the top there. Uh, right, so that was fine, except for the part where we died. Scorpions. Well, I don't want scorpions, but it's this room again. Great, they're going to start Reversing around us again. Uh. No. Don't attack, am I? Dead. Uh, God. Oh. Ow. Um, hmm. Well, we're gonna have to do this fight at some point anyway. I was just thinking whether I was going to reload. Because this isn't the ghouls, but, you know. As I said, I think there's a specific, like... There's specific... Damn. There's specific, uh... Yeah, I'll reload that. There's specific, uh, encounters in each area, and you sort of have to fight them each in the area. Um, so we've fought the frogs, poisonous frogs, which was quite easy, but I assume the poison frogs would be like, would be like the scorpions. If they did land a hit and they managed to poison you, they'd just kill you. Um... As I was saying earlier, I kind of like poison being so nasty, unlike in Neverwinter Nights where it's easier to manage because it just lowers your stats. Mm. Let's see, if I bless, we're going to be blessed for like eight steps or something like that, I think. Mm. There's that room down to the southeast there. Let's go over there. Oh! Ghouls. Okay, well this is better. Right, so let me have a look. Uh, aim. Let's see what the map is like. If we cast... What is in cloud? Stinking cloud there and stinking cloud there. I was thinking of using stinking clouds to stop them from getting a melee with me. But they could go around here. This isn't a very good location to use this tactic. Hmm. Hmm. Cast. No. It's not cast. Cast. Stinking cloud. Hmm. Here. 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 Go. Uh, view items. Unequip your broadsword. Equip your sling. Aim at the ghoul. You miss. Right. Right. Uh, stinking cloud. Cast this here. Okay, okay, uh, you unequip your shield and your longsword and equip your short bow and I'm gonna have to just guess at which arrows are the magical ones. These ones. Aim, manual. I'm going to attack the white because that's 
the bigger threat. Ooh, four damage, nice. Okay, okay. Uh, I can't do anything with you, Skull Crusher. You can cast... Cast Spiritual Hammer. That allows you to have ranged attacks and it counts as magical for the purposes of uh, attacks. So, unequip your shield, uh, unequip your broadsword, equip your short bow and your arrows. Aim manual. Uh, attack the white. Hey, nice! Um, aim, manual, you don't have a magic sling or magic sling bullets, so you're just going to have to, uh, ooh, he walked into the cloud. Interesting. And kind of terrifying. The other ones aren't. Aim, uh, cast, magic missile. He's dead. Good. Uh, this is still kind of a problem because the stinking clouds are probably going to disappear soon. Manual. Hit the goal. You miss. When you need it the most, we will miss. Okay. Cast. Curse. Cast. Exit. Um. Cast. Stinking cloud. And cast it. Here. Good. Oh. You're not paralyzed. You miss. If ever there was a time for heroics, now would be that time. Uh, magic missile. Attack it. Good. Eh. I was afraid of that. And you're held, yes. Uh, aim. Ooh, nice! What is that two shot? What is that two hit? As far as I know, bows wouldn't be able to get two hits, would they? This is still a bit of a problem because Volkmar is now going to get uh, one-shotted. Unless we manage to do that. Uh, actually. Uh... What spell? I was casting magic missile, wasn't I? I went too far. I was going to say, hmm. If I moved Egrim around, I could potentially lure their attack away or put. I could possibly move Egrim. One, two, three, four, five, six to here to block off from Volkmar. Egrim has only 12 hit points, there's two left, but that would at least give me another round and Volkmar wouldn't get within me Lee, to take an attack. Or is it better to just deal damage? We can potentially take a ghoul out with one arrow. I might not deal enough damage, or I might miss. We've come so far and, uh, you know, it's like two misses would end up with Volkmar being killed. Hmm. Hmm. And I don't want Skull Crusher to die. They're both about the same distance away. And I don't know which one's going next. There's no, like, turn counter for these enemies. I don't know which one's going to move next. Just hit you. Okay. And again. Oh, good. 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 Uh, you hold. C 
cast. You can't cast anything. However, you have no ranged attacks in your inventory. Sleep doesn't work on ghouls. Yeah, you're just going to have to stand there. Guard. Cast. You got another magic missile. Oh yeah. Bam. Oop. Damn it. Ugh. Can we force feed him a potion? He's dying though. He's not dead. Exit. Bandage. Um. A damn healer too. <sighs> I'm just going to accept that. Volkmar's only unconscious. He's not dead. He's nearly going to level up anyway. So, yeah, I'm just going to accept that. Done. Uh, quit. Yeah, clears a little. Continue battle. Unless I can get Volkmar to drink a potion, even though he's unconscious. Which I don't think so. And you can't force someone who's unconscious to drink a potion, I'm pretty sure. Um, I could try. Sure, let's see. Guard. Uh, let's see. Potion of extra healing. That's a bit more than I'd want to use. I think Volkmar has the potions of healing. Ah! <laughs> uh, uh, let me see. Items. Must be readied. Mm, yeah, I get the feeling that will just use it on you. So I'm not going to try that. I don't want to waste a potion. I'm just going to have to accept this how it is. Okay, guard. Quit. Guard. Do you have anything? I'll try it if you have just a potion of healing. You have a potion of healing. Ready? Ah, uh, would I... No. Nope, 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 nope. Quit. Continue battle. No. No victory dance. The party is won. Each character gains 180 experience points. It's not that much. <laughs> and we did... We had victory over those ghouls and that white. And nobody got level drained, which is more important. Ogmar being unconscious is unfortunate, but it's not terrible. And there's no loot from it. Well, great. Save, be, no, there. Okay. Let's go back to Kuto's well, and I am going to rest for 24 hours, get Volkmar back, and then he can heal himself. I feel pretty good about that. Ghouls are a pain. Uh, any creature which paralyzes in melee is a Massive pain. Or which has just paralyzing as a pain. Like, uh, what's it called? Carrying crawlers. Um, yeah, rest a day. Resting a day makes you regenerate one hit point. It takes 24 hours to regenerate one hit point. You'd have to rest for 31 days to get 31 hit points back. That's why magic is so much faster to heal by. Uh, cast. You will like wounds on yourself, and another one on yourself, and a bless, just so that we can... Yeah, when I cast bless, it uh, caused the um, thingy to get... Mm, um, dis... what's it called? This is why... Unangled, or... It causes this to... But underneath the map. I suppose it's because of Balagar's massive level, massive amount of um, saving throws. Sorry. That will go away eventually when he finishes reading the tr uh, when he finishes training with the manual bodily health. Okay, exit. Uh, memorize all the cure light wounds and also uh, you memorize you used your spiritual hammer which I don't think you actually ended up hitting them with because they got you in melee and paralyzed you before you could use it. 
Memorize Stinking Cloud and Magic Missiles because they were quite useful for that fight. Elspeth, uh, Magic Missiles, uh, Stinking Clouds. Okay, and rest. Yes. There we go. Uh, cast Cure Life Wounds on yourself. Another Cure Life Wounds on yourself. Of the cure light wounds on yourself. Well done. Memorize. Bless. Curse. And a cure light wounds. I could have cast cause light wounds, which would deal 1 to 8 points of damage on a ghoul, but you have to be in melee to be able to cast it because it's a touch spell. And I don't really like magic spells which have to be cast on touch in combat. Um, Burning Hands has to be cast on touch. Shocking Grasp has to be cast on touch. And mages aren't cre characters you want to have in melee. <laughs> they do get defensive later on because they just get weighed down by all the, uh, you know, cloaks of protection and rings of protection and permanent mirror image and all that stuff. But early on when you're going to be thinking about using... Shocking grasp. You don't want your six health mage to be in a melee. Okay. Uh, yes, I want to actually climb up. Nope. There's actually another spell. Yeah, I remember there's a spell in um, Baldur's Gate which we don't have here. It might have been added later on called Larlock's Minor Drain. I think that's a ranged attack. And that deals some magical damage. It also drains health from the enemy and adds it to the mages, I think. So it will do like... I don't think it's that much. I think it's like 1d6 or something like that. And it takes that health from the enemy and then, as I said, just gives it to your caster. Which is quite nice. Uh, but still, it's... One of the nicest spells I like is a Chromatic Orb. Because that has... A variety of different effects it can cause on hit. Though I don't often see it have these effects. So sort of just I think most of the time I use it, it just hits the target and dissipates. Without doing anything. But um, you know. That's and also just because magic missile is so much better for constant damage. Um but chromatic orb, because it has like Oh, what can it do? It can like hold, charm possibly. Um, maybe curse, uh, I think it can paralyze, or holding is paralyzing, um, it maybe can disintegrate at higher levels. I think it gets extra effects the higher level the mage gets, it's one of these spells which improves higher the level, higher the spellcaster is. Uh, but you don't tend to see the higher spell uh, effects from it. But I like spells like that which change. Um, even if it's not necessarily one you'd use that much. Save, B, no. Let's go in here. You are in a deteriorated building. One of many in this area. When you enter, a few faded, moth-eaten tapestries flutter mournfully. You encounter hobgoblins. Uh, parley? Hobgoblins respond with a piercing battle cry. Yeah. Uh, cast, nothing. Move up. Cast. Stinking cloud. There. Cough, cough, cough. Cough, cough, cough. Cough, cough, cough. <laughs> Ow! Uh, you're currently still using your sling. And my other guys are currently still using their bows. That's probably why they'll hit in melee, because they've got a penalty uh, for... I think I think if you're wielding a melee attack, a ranged weapon in melee, you get a debuff to your, you get a penalty to your AC. Um, curse. I could have done whole person actually. Ah, bam! You missed. Okay, few. Yeah, get rid of that short bow. Put on that shield and that long sword. 
Okay. Wham! Boom. And you also. Uh, Longsword and shield. Wham! Boom. Uh, yeah, just curse these guys. I like Balagar, it looks like he's got a long top knot. Or some kind of, like, cone hat. Dead. Ow! Sword. Cast. Sleep. Uh. There? No, you can't cast it there. Cast it there. There we go. They're all unconscious, so just poke them. And that guy's. You. Unequip your broadsword. Equip your sling. Aim. Manual. Go. Uh. You. Unequip your shield and your longsword. A bit laborious to do this, but, you know, eh, aim, there we go. I might have used a magic arrow plus one, but, eh. There we go. Guard. 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 Nope. 46 experience points. And what do we get? Money. Yep. 216 gold. You're overloaded. 216 gold, uh, silver, copper, copper it was, take, none of that's going to be magical, nope, and if it is, well, we've already got magic long swords, okay, uh, but like our view, uh, I you've got your long sword on still, do you have your shield on? Yes you do, good, okay, Irala, uh, take off your short bow and your arrows. Did I just trade something? No. I think I pressed trade, but then I quit out of it. Hmm. And scampers, you could not equip your sling and put your broadsword on. Yeah, scampers can have a broadsword because thieves can equip longswords, but they can't equip shields. So. Okay, so I save, I'll just save. Uh, Volkmar cast Cure Light Wounds on Skull Crusher. Go. Okay. Uh, bash the door. You find a page from a diary and place it in your journal under entry 11. We've already read that. I think it was talking about a boss sending people to the graveyard. Ooh! Ooh! War! Oh boy. Oh great! They're right in melee. Um... Well, this is unpleasant. Uh... Go here. Cast. You don't have... Because I didn't rest. Oh great. I should have checked. Uh, you've got a stinking cloud. Cast it. Here. Not enough for the white! Uh, <laughs> going so well. Cast. A spiritual hammer. <laughs> Put the smack dab on them. That ranged. There we go. Ah! Uh, Irala is... Level drained. Yep. Right, well, good thing I saved. Aim. Manual. No? Uh, do you have to be closer before you can do that? Uh, go here. Go there. Aim. Manual. You've got a spiritual hammer. It said spiritual hammers can attack at ranged, did it not? Let me just check the manual. 
might be a case of the game actually having something in the manual which isn't present in the base game in the uh end game mm. manual because i don't remember spiritual hammers ever having that ability uh not in border's gate they were just like a magical hammer they they didn't have a ranged they didn't have like ranged effects on them for as far as i remember or maybe they did let's see there's spiritual hammer for clerics and then there's shillelagh for uh druids which was basically the same thing except it was a club it was worse because clubs are worse than hammers um And I think it tended to equip your druids with spears, that they could use piercing weapons. Uh, where are the spells? Okay, we can have a max of two NPCs in our party. Uh, and just reading a bit about it there. Uh, okay, here's the spells. Um, it is... Spiritual Hammer. This is a combat spell which creates a temporary magic item automatically readied. It can strike at range and does normal hammer damage. It strikes monsters that only magical weapons can affect. This lasts for one round per level of caster. Yeah. It says it can strike at ranged. I'm trying to use it at ranged and it doesn't work. Is this something like the weapon is counted only as a melee weapon? Well. Eh. Aim, melee. I mean, you hit him. And he killed the ghoul, but you lost the level. And you'll note also, Irala lost all of her experience. That's another reason why I reload. Because you have to just gain all that experience you lost again. Aim. Let's try again. No. Unless there's another way you go about doing it. Yeah. It wouldn't make sense for it to have a distance of one. <laughs> What's the point of a ranged attack if it's like you have to be right next to them anyway? I know I haven't bandaged scampers. Eh. I mean, you know, considering this. Okay, reload. Hmm. Well, it's good that I know that about Spiritual Hammer. I was a bit... What's it called? Uh, I was a bit, um, <laughs> I did question that a bit in my head. It didn't seem like something, if I had an easy way to check all this, I would. Let me see, pool of radiance, spiritual hammer. Uh, I mean, the things which I'm saying, I'm uh, reading, uh, sort of saying that it has a ranged attack on it, but... I mean, whatever. It feels like something I'd have to... No, I mean, it's not whether the rules... I was going to say I could read, like, AD&D rules, but that is beside the point. It's what the game does. <laughs> the rules could say it does range attacks, and I'd, you know, that would fully be perfectly fair, but... Uh, if the game doesn't, then, uh, well... Maybe no one's tested it. Maybe everyone's just sort of reading what the manual says. And it's like, oh, well. 
It says that it's got ranged attacks. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. That's entirely possible. I'm trying to use it like a ranged attack. Ooh, we spy goblins. Monsters stand ready. Uh, wait. Wait. Monsters stand ready. Parlay. Uh, 40. Move it, troll bait. They snarl and move off. Okay, so let's go back to Kuto's well. And we're going to rest in the well. Uh, yes. I want to go down the well. Yes, thank you very much. No. Uh, this way. Okay. In camp. Save. B. No. And Volkmar. Uh, do you need anything memorized? A curse, I think. Egrim. Uh, stinking Cloud. That's it. And Elspeth. Uh, stinking Cloud. And I'm going to get... Um, what spells do you have available? Magic Missiles and Stinking Cloud. Okay, I'm going to memorize a Stinking Cloud and a Sleep. Just in case we come across any creatures which can be put to sleep. Uh, right. Okay. Save, B, no, and... Yes, I do. Oh, I didn't heal my party. Hmm. Yeah, I better do that. Yep. Okay. Nope. So, in camp. Ogmar. Magic. Cast. Cure Light Wounds. Cast down Arala. Thank you for two hit points. Thank you. Memorize. It'd be nice if Cure Light Wounds healed more hit points the higher level caster with is. But that's why you're supposed to have uh, Cure Moderate Wounds and all that, but as I've said, I don't think we get those in this game. Because this game doesn't go to character levels which would be high enough to have those spells. I think level 3 spells is the max, that's all that the manual has in it. What am I doing? No! Okay, that was pretty good. Heal on Skull Crusher. Uh, memorize. Cure Life Wounds. Yes. Rest. Cast. Cure Life Wounds. Skull Crusher. Go. Memorize. Cure Life Wounds. Yes. Rest. Exit. Save. B. No. Good. Turn around. And go up the ladder again. No. Okay, so um, what should we do? We've pretty much cleared out... Cadorna Textile House, we've gone to a lot of different places in here. Let's see. Um... Let's go all the way down here. Again. No. And, uh... Bash the door down. Go. You find a page from a diary- yeah, yeah. There's somebody who has the same pieces of paper all over the place. Okay, this is the room where we fought Grishnak. And there's this well here. We can't go in this well, however. It's not like Kuto's well. Um, There is something all the way over there on the left. See this here. That might be something worth checking out. Uh, how we go there? Oop. Oh dear. Some ghouls! You know, the less, less of you lot I see, the happier I'll be. Oh, great. You miss, and then you get level drained. 
<laughs> uh. I don't like reloading all the time. Without any protection from level drain. If I didn't like reload every time we got level drained, I think I loaded a save, wrong save. Yep. Uh, it, well, that's not right. Um, I would just have to start like grinding experience and leveling up people again. Ugh. So it's just more, you know, more efficient of everyone's time if I just reload if that happens. Uh, C, and there we go. Okay, so we explored down there. Wasn't anything there. I'm going to check that building over there. The scorpions approach hungrily. Okay, well, I can deal with those. Uh, back up to here. View items. Get rid of broadsword. Equip your sling. Aim. Go for the huge scorpion. I wish there was a visual difference. Um. Punch. Skull Crusher? Why aren't you crushing its skull? It's a scorpion. It doesn't have a skull. Tell me where its skull is, and I'll crush it. Until then, don't bother me. They put it to sleep. There we go. Oh, our scorpion's having a nice sleep. It's adorable! Um, ah, magic missile. Get rid of this one. Nine points of damage. Be nice. Yeah, guard. Uh, go for this one. Dead. <laughs> and dead. Well done, Skull Crusher. You found its skull. Uh, guard. 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 Nope. 55 experience points. Yeah, everyone shimmy. Okay. Exit. And camp. Save. C. No. There we go. And we didn't even get poisoned. Isn't that nice? That's not the way I need to go. I need to go up here. There's a room in... Uh, square in there I didn't explore. Oh no I did. It's just there's no roof in that square. That's interesting. Okay let's see. There's a door here. If I go there. Oh it's just a room. Look. Nothing in there. Uh. Scorpions approach hungrily. Uh oh. Uh cast. Exit. Go here. Go here. Go here, cast, stinking cloud, cast it here, there we go. Bam. <laughs> Trying to go through the wall! Ow. Go here. There we go. Uh, cast sleep there. Guard, guard, bonk. I just want to try and, you know, anticipate any uh, potential poisonings. Guard, guard. 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 Split. Guard. Guard. We actually get two rounds before it before it moves again? Interesting. Where is it going? These battle maps are really, really huge. Oh, it's ran off. It actually had to run off the battle map. Interesting. Previously, when the hobgoblins were with us, they just disappeared. 
I didn't know that animals could flee like that. Uh, I suppose it makes sense, but... Uh, in, in like, older games, I suppose you tend to get used to the idea that animals are rather mindless. Not that they are, but... Um... Hmm. You find a page? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many journal pages are there? Uh, bash. Right, so we've pretty much explored the entirety of uh, the uh, uh, textile complex. I think we actually did find the family treasure in the western building of textile complex south of Polo Plaza. Because I remember we found a chest and we were given the option of either opening it or taking it, un taking it sealed. And I took it sealed and I went back to town and it was like, oh, the uh, guy who asked you to find it left a reward for you. So I think we've done that. Skull Crusher is actually a... Uh, is actually a uh, servant of Cadorna. Or Junior Councilman Cadorna as they're known, because this is the Cadorna Textile Factory. Go here. And go into Mendel's library. Let's... I think we've pretty much cleared out that area, so let's go back to town. Maybe we do a reward? As I've said before, I think to clear out an area you just sort of have to clear out the uh, static encounters, which would be Grishnak. And not really, uh... Just sort of exhaust all of the, uh... Combat encounters like we've done in the slums here. Okay. I haven't had a fight in here for... Ages. And I think I could search as well and I wouldn't have any encounters. Okay, encamp. Uh, B. No. Rest. Rest for eight hours. There we go. I don't know how the time what goes. It seems like zero zero thirty three is like six o'clock or something like that. I don't know. Oh, there was also something else I was going to check. Uh Adventurous Journal. Does this actually give a date when the game's set? Because uh Okay, let's see. What's the most recent event? Plan today. Built on the ruins. Uh. Doesn't actually mention anything about a. Uh, like a date of now. Attempt to clear a path through the growth in 1023DR, which is Dale Reckoning. Resulted in the death of the last surviving great princess of the Vallejo family. The last 300 years of Flan have been a continual retreat from the greatness that once was. So it's 1323? Let me have a look. Uh, Faerun timeline... 1323. I'm not going to go into expl explaining the whole timeline and how it works in this setting because it's, uh... Each year has a name based on auspices which have been cast or something and then every and then there's like things are divided up into like periods of time like when does Baldur's Gate take place um time of troubles 1358 Dale Reckoning Okay, so this takes place possibly about 35 years before the 
uh, events of the time of troubles. How long does Baldur's when does Baldur's Gate? I mean, the time of troubles is the events based which Baldur's Gate is based off of. That was when the gods of Faerun walked the world. They were cast out of their. Uh, they were cast out of the uh, heavens by Om, I think his name is, the uh, overgod. And um, because they were ignoring their followers, he felt. And uh, they were forced to live amongst the humans to reconsider what they thought the situation. And a whole bunch of them ended up dying. And uh, everything else. Um, at least that's how I remember it. And I think, let me think. Okay. There's one thing I just want to check. Uh, Dale Reckoning is, Dale Reckoning is taken from the year of sunrise, first of Dale Reckoning, when the standing stone was raised by the elves of Cormanthia and the human Dales folk. Since that time, humans were permitted by the Elven Court to settle in the more open regions of the forests. Some texts, primarily those which do not have direct tales, ties to Dales history. Dales Reckoning is called Freeman's Reckoning. Calendar is widely used in Faerun, but it's not spread Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I think I always, in, I always sort of uh, assumed that Dale Reckoning meant Icewind Dale. And it was based off the the based off the events of the uh, Cred Shinibon <laughs> from the uh, Crystal Shard book. Don't worry if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> oh, oh the uh... oh Skull Crusher speaks. I must go to my master now. He leaves. Oh, okay. Yep. I'll I'll, I'll say ooh the uh what's it called. Goldbox companion just crashed. So there we go. Let's uh stop making camp right outside of here. And go down here. And go in here. The council clerk begins looking through your stack of papers. Before I can offer any commissions, I must see if you are due a current reward. On the matters of commissions, I can offer the following. Circle keep on Thorn Island must be cleared. Find the nomads to stop them from joining forces with our enemies. Large tribe of kobolds is being recruited by the enemy. Make sure they don't join the enemy forces. That's all. Okay, maybe we haven't cleared out those areas. Let's go to Podal Plaza and I'll wander around for a bit, having random encounters and see if we can end up fighting through all the random encounters. Until we don't get any more. So those are just goblins. No. Go through the door. You. There we go. Uh, okay, so. Uh, I am going to save, B, O, and search. Spot a group of orcs. The monsters stand ready. Uh, advance. Monsters prepare. Advance. Monsters stand ready. Combat. 19 orcs rush to attack. I mean, they're evil creatures. Even though we were the ones to aggress. Aim. Og. Ow. I kind of wish in the advancing situation you actually had a chance to, like, cast a buff spell. That would be nice. You could say, like, you know, the orcs are advancing on you, what do you do? And you're like, cast bless! That would be nice. Cast. Mm, stinking cloud. Cough, 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 cough. Where'd that orc go? Cast stinking cloud. Uh 
Cast it there. We'll get four of them there. Ow. All that armor I have. <laughs> Cast, curse, aim, get him, oh, you're, no, you're equipped with a sling, aim, manual, are you not equipped with your sling? No, you are, aim, manual, why is your range zero? Right. Aim. Eh? That's weird. Your sling's not working. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, because you're in melee. I didn't see that orc there. Boy. Well, hack him. <laughs> Sorry, they blend into each other. Um, yeah, you could just poke him. Ow. Falkmar, you've got armor, lad. What are you doing? I didn't mean to do that. <gasps> Cast. Magic missile. Uh, there. Uh, no. Move there. At least try and prevent them from getting around to getting to Arala while she chokes and gasps on the on her own stinking cloud. <laughs> Weren't you casting a uh uh you probably got interrupted. I think Magic Missile is dealing more damage. That just dealt four uh seven damage. So you're casting two bolts, but we don't actually get to see that, unfortunately. Yeah, seven points of damage, so there's two there dealing up to four each. It's a shame we don't get to see the bottom bolts. And there we go. Guard. 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 No. 51 experience points. No one dies. Very nice. Uh, take. The silver. 456. Can't hold it. Scampers. 456. Thank you. And there's no other loot. Pull it and share it out. Nope. Okay, well, that was a combat. I'd definitely call that a combat. Let's go to Kuto's well and rest. Yes, climb down. No, go here. Camp. Save. B. O. Uh, Volkmar. Cast magic. Cure light wounds. Onurala. Don Arala. Uh, cast. Bless. And Spiritual Hammer, I suppose. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Memorize. Cure Life Wounds. And I'm not going to memorize Spiritual Hammer. If it does have a ranged component to it, then... He wasn't in melee. No, he wasn't in melee, so he would have been able to cast. He would have been able to use a ranged attacker. So yeah, I don't know. It, it wasn't like a situation like the sling where there was a guy in melee combat with Volkmar, or he wasn't able to hit them. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Hmm. Yeah, learn snake charm. It's an extremely specific spell. But I feel like 
going and wandering around outside again. We haven't done that for a while. Maybe we could go and have a look at those kobold caves. We don't cast snake charm. Go. Right. Memorize. Rest. Cast. Cure light wounds on yourself. Cast. Cure light wounds on scampers. And there we go. Okay. Bless. Curse. Rest. Exit. Egrim. Stinking cloud. Uh, sleep. And magic missile. And asleep again. Elspeth. Uh, stinking cloud. Stinking cloud. Sleep. Magic missile. Magic missile. Exit. Exit. Yes. Rest. And there we go. Okay. Save. Be. No. Turn around. Back up. Yep. No. Okay. So, uh, let's see. If we go to Podal Plaza. Just wander around. See if we get another event. I'm purposely avoiding going north. Uh, I remember there's a... Uh, wow. Eh. Let's have a look. No. Story and old gate. There's a bunch of rooms here. Uh, bash. Nothing in there. Bash. Need to explore that fully. Okay, and bash. I'm pretty sure there's some encounters in this area. Bash. Before you were, before you is Stoyanol Gate. You can see it in the distance there, that grey and blue thing. This ancient edifice is built across the bend of the river, thus isolating the old town and the castle from the rest of the city. The main wall rises 30 feet, while the two watchtowers rise to 50 feet. Lounging around the entrance are a group of bugbears. Hmm. A bash. I wonder if we could take the bugbears. Bugbears are particularly special. They're essentially souped up hobgoblins or orcs. A voice from the tower yells, STAY AWAY FROM THE WALL! Okay. I'm just exploring. There's a... Nope, oh, that said something different. A group of bugbears approach. Throw down your weapons. Uh, <laughs> bugbear. <laughs> I don't remember them looking like that particularly, but uh, <laughs> now we can flee, attack them, surrender. I mean, how big's a group? Anywhere between like six and possibly sixteen. <laughs> Uh, uh, attack them. An alarm starts ringing. Oh boy, there, that's quite a few of them. How many is that? 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, it's exact 16. As I said. So yeah, actually, they're not as big as I thought they would be. I thought they would be about ogre size. But, um, I mean, bugbears are pretty big. Um, They have 16 hit points each. Let's have a look. Bugbear, 16 hit points, scores, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, saves, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, AC of 5, Thacko of 16, 1 attack per round, 2d4 plus 0. So they can do a maximum of uh, 2 or 8. 
damage. Well, two two eight damage. Uh, cast sleep. Maybe we can make some of them go to sleep. One. Yeah. They've got too many hit points to really do that on. Uh, move up. Stab. You miss. This is why Stinking Cloud becomes better, because it doesn't discriminate based on hit points. Or based on level. <laughs> move here. Cast. Stinking Cloud. I'm also glad that casting spells in combat range doesn't actually give them a free a, a free attack to try and hit you. That's nice. In which it probably should, but uh, I'm happy that it doesn't. Okay. Step. Cast. Stinking Cloud. Uh, just knock that one out. Uh, cast old person. These would count as people size, humanoid size things, I think. And uh, you. Oh, it doesn't affect them. Okay. Well. I don't know whether that meant that they made their saving throw or whether they're just not affected by it at all. Ow. Go here. Cast. Sleep. We still have to be careful with sleep, because if we cast it over some of our own guys, they might still fall asleep. Uh, cast it on you. Bam! Six points of damage. Dead. Go here. It. Dead. Dead. Cast. Magic missile. Uh, you. Six points. Bam. I'm not doing too badly. I mean, there's not really anything special to uh, bugbears. Oh, they're fleeing. Get back here, you cowards. <laughs> uh. Uh. And it flees. Nope. 533 experience points. Ooh, that's a nice amount. Uh, sure, take that. Uh, copper, 384. Silver, 288. And there's nothing else. Right. I didn't even drop any armor, arm, arms or armor. From arrow slits in the tower, I shot a couple of arrows. A couple arrows. I suppose we dodged them. Uh, let's uh, step away from the tower. Or step away from the wall. From arrow slits in tower, shot a couple of arrows. Scampers is hit for five points of damage. Y yeah. Yeah. Let's just uh, stay away from the walls. They're just cowardly shooting arrows at us. I mean, they've got a tower, they've got a wall. Isn't that cowardly? They're making use of it. From arrow slits in tower, shot a couple of arrows. Bash the door down. Should we go around the gate? I like the effect of the wall. It's suitably uh, in imposing. Bash the door down. Uh, go this way. 
I hope alerting the guards like this won't have negative, uh, negative, uh, what's it called? Consequences later on. Okay, seems like... Yeah. People are actually getting hit by arrows quite a bit. Um, is there a front gate? Oof! Yeah, let's uh, step away from that. I think the gate's up there, but there's probably not a, uh, it's probably not open. Okay, well, that's the story in our gate. Uh. <sighs> uh, hmm. Let's, uh, yeah, I'm going to reload to before we took all that damage for wandering near the gate. Mostly just for exploration purposes. And, uh... Yeah. So we'll heal up. And, um, I think we'll go outside of the city. Uh, load. I think it will C. Yep. Okay. People are less injured here than they were before. Okay, yes, and this was after we fought the bugbears, so that's fine. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, we spot a group of goblins. Um... Wait. Monsters prepare. Uh, wait. Monsters stand ready. Combat. Fifteen goblins rush to attack. We have to clear out the monsters. Cast. Sleep. There. Remember when we were having problems with goblins? They could still deal a nice amount of damage to us if they got lucky rolls. What's that, Thacko? Uh, Thacko of a goblin is 19. So, yeah, they're gonna have to, they're gonna be hitting on us, hitting us on, uh, Well, let's see. Belagar has a armor class of zero, or Arala has zero, Belagar has zero. So they're going to be hitting them on 19. Scampers has AC4, so that's going to be like 18, 17, 16, 15. Volkmar has AC2, so they're going to be hitting him on 17, and so on. Uh, don't... sad. Oh yeah! Wade into them! Also, we get multiple attacks against them. I think it's just because how weak they are. Um, it's like... We just get bonus attacks versus them because we're so much more powerful than them to, like, help us clear out masses of en enemies like this. So. Yes. Guard. 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 Oh, there's some... Goblins which are asleep up there. Guard. Guard. Nope. 39 experience. Yay! Uh, take money, 720. Your inventory is full. Money, 270. Overloaded. No, I want my money. There we go. And, uh, what's the other items? Junk. Okay, there we go. Oh, hello, welcome, welcome. I see that I'm going to play Chaos after this. <laughs> Yeah, funny that. <laughs> I wonder whether it has it. Uh, I wonder what. I wonder what the cause of that is. <laughs> um. 
Okay, let's go out of the city. Uh, which entrance will you take? We'll leave. And here we go. Okay, so... Hmm. There's the nomad camp, which is fighting a whole bunch of kobolds. We still don't have a fireball, so... Hmm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> the river's stench drives you back. Oh, we can't cross the river. We have to go around it. We can't ford the river. Not big of a pro not big problem. Found a rowboat. Yeah, I know about that already. Um. Spot a group of Sturges. Ooh. Sturges are giant, like, ravens or crows, aren't they? I actually don't know much about them. I don't think we can parlay with them. I think they're animals. Wait. The battle begins. Hey, cool. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. Uh, aim, manual, what's over here? Yeah, there's the Sturges. Oh, they look a bit different than I expected. I thought they'd just be like big birds. Sturge drain blood. Oh, great. So they have a uh they they drain hit points and add it to their own. They have five hit points each. Score is 10, 3, 10, 10, 10, 10. Saves are 14, 15, 16, 17, 17. AC of 8. Thacko of 15. So they're not too bad on the attack, but their armor is terrible. Uh one attack per round for 1d3 plus 0, but drain blood, so I assume they drain life. I actually don't know much about uh, Sturges at all. Let's go to Google. D&D Sturge. Oh jeez, they look a lot more vicious. I thought they looked like giant birds, but no, they're like, uh, they're like multi-winged flying bat mosquito things. <laughs> Um, here's a picture. I'll get this one up. Can I find like a first edition version? AD&D. AD&D Sturge, because the older, older images are rather amusing. Is there one? Hold on. Uh, there should be, I think the wikis tend to have like, all the pictures of them from the previous versions. That's not... Uh... Go. Yeah, okay. I really like the old D&D art. I don't know why. It's got such a sort of... I don't know. Someone with a... Uh, simple... Bro. Yeah, it's just someone... All right at art style to it. Uh, which was very much the case. So, okay. Um, and it is there. Let's change that to a PNG. Change this to PNG. Okay, so. Uh, image Desktop. Uh, okay, here is... I think this is 5th edition? Artwork of a Sturge? That looks... kind of horrifying. And, uh... Where's the other one? Here's 1st edition of a Sturge. Of a Sturge. <laughs> Which is still kind of horrifying. Uh, it's more of a bat wings. It's sort of like a giant fly with a spike beak. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought, as I said, I thought they looked more like giant birds, but apparently not. Like some kind of weird, I don't know, flying scorpion with a pincer tail and multiple bat wings. Ugh. Okay, get out of here.
Okay, so now that I've been educated of what they are. Uh... Um, oh dear. Uh, Godbox Companion has disconnected from the game. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Okay, so, um... They're not that big of a threat, so you can, I don't think... Just quickly broadsword, sling, aim, manual... they too far away? Possibly. Aim. The trees might be in the way. Done. Quit. Oh, they can move a long way. Oh, it paralyzed me. Uh, that's nasty. Cast. Uh. Bless. Cast stinking cloud. Here. There we go. Cough, cough, cough. Cast. Magic missile. And you can't see him. Bam! Dead. Wow, they've got a lot of movement. I like the trees and all that around here, that's... Okay, guard. Uh... Oh, this is for bless. There we go. Uh, guard. Guard. You're not held anymore. That's nice. Uh, move up one. Aim. Can you hit this one now? You can, but you missed. Pass. You don't have anything. Guard. Guard. It got confu It got confused. That's fine. Uh, guard. Ah. They don't have that much hit points, so... Aim. Bam! You missed. I was fleeing. <laughs> ah! Just guard. 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 And it's fled. Quit. Guard. Guard. No, we get 21, 23 experience points. So yeah, they're not really that big of an issue. Though paralyzing would mean I think they'd be able to kill us in one shot if it connected. Okay, I go to encamp, save, see, no, Volkmar, cast your magic, heal Balagar, and heal Scampers. Uh, you can cast, no. Actually, don't cast curse because we could get jumped. Memorize that and slow poison. Yes. Egrim, get sleep and two magic missiles and a stinking cloud. Elspeth, you can get stinking cloud. Sleep and magic missile. Go and rest. Nice. You can get jumped. Exit. Save. C. O. Uh. Ogmar cast magic. Cure light wounds on Belagar. Cure light wounds on Irala. Cure light wounds on Irala. Memorize, white wounds again, and rest. Yeah, no attacks again. No, I don't want to memorize. Heal up yourself. Oh. 
go. And cure life wounds on scampers. Memorize. There we go. No. Fast. Okay, good. Memorize once more. Get a bless. And rest. Nice. Exit. Save. B. No. And let's continue on. So, ooh. No. Okay, that wasn't anything. So it says the kobold cave is... Ooh, a screaming horde of kobolds attacks the party. Wow, that is quite the horde of kobolds. There's a few kobold leaders in there as well. Man, this game really does large battles sometimes. How many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Maybe 29? <laughs> Possibly 30? There. Ow. Ah. <laughs> Let's uh, speed it up a little bit. I'll advance slowly with my people ca covering each other. Presenting a unified front. Well, wow. pretty much. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's not really worth casting magic on them. They're only kobolds. Nice, nice. I think you dealt two damage to him. You didn't kill him, though. Get away from Millsmith. Uh. God. God. Attack those kobolds with the bows. You can just fire a sling bolt, a sling bullet all the way over them like that. Aha! Well done. Nice. Try and pick off those guys. <laughs> I am a blender. Ow. 
I can also take arrows. <laughs> you gotta start fleeing soon. There's barely any of you left. Yeah, there we go. Ah, flee! This was a bad decision. There we go. Nope. 47 experience points. Yay. Uh, scampers take the money. 560. Can't take it. Take the 10 silver. Agrim. Take the money. 560. C copper. And there's a bunch of loot. Uh, we don't need it. There's nothing in it stands out, even if it's magical. In camp, save B, no, and move forward. You see a small group of kobolds entering a small concealed cave. A larger, more noticeable cave lies just east of the small hidden cave. Which cave will you enter? Hmm. A small one. Do you want to leave? No. Cobalt Caves. Ooh. Okay, definitely save here. Save B. Uh, pick the lock. Do you want to leave? No. Bash. Go. Okay. Egrim falls into a pool of water. Well, get out then. Some items were lost recovering Egrim. Oh, what? You're kidding me. What items? Oh, he lost his braces? Oh, that sucks. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not accepting that. Stupid. What? what? Random events where you lose your items? My sling seems to be a little useless. Eh, yeah. If I could use something better for ranged, uh, I would use the sling. It's not that bad. I think it deals like 1 to 4 damage, which is alright. Um, and it... You know, I'm able to hit fairly frequently with it. It doesn't deal that much damage, though. But let me see. Manual. No, Adventurous Journal. How much does the sling deal? Sling. Yep, 1 to 4 damage. But a uh, thief can only use a sling. Possibly throwing knives or darts also, but... Sling has unlimited ammunition. Bash. Uh, search. You find a trap, but the tunnel is too narrow to avoid it. What do you do? Uh, disarm it. Who will disarm the trap? Scampers. Scampers falls into a pool of water. Okay, so we've got to be searching to uh, find the trap, which is a pool of water. <laughs> and to not let one of our... To not let our stupid butts fall into it and lose items because we can't fish them out of the pool afterwards. Ugh. There we go. Okay, okay. Bash. Search. Scampers should be able to do that. Scampers is level 4. Oh, we just don't find it then. Am I just going to have to leave and come back again? Actually, no. Hold on. Hold on. We do have a detect traps spell. Which might help. It won't help us disarm the trap. It will help us detect the traps, however, which will deal with half the problem. Okay. Uh, Egrim. Uh, let's encamp. Memorize. Uh, detect magic. Do we even have detect trap? The Volkmar? Find traps. There we go. A cast. Snake charm. Yes. 
Memorize. Find traps. Yes. Rest. Kobolds. Who would have thought? The kobolds appear and bombard you with rocks. Elspeth is hit for 5 points of damage. Agrim is hit for 3 points of damage. Scampus is hit for 2 points of damage. Belagar is hit for 4 points. Agrim is hit for 3 points. Right. Bash the door down. Okay. Disarm it. Scampers. You cross over a pit. Okay. Save. C. O. <laughs> I'm being very, very hesitant. This, this is just a big maze, is it? Oop. Kobolds seem to boil up from nowhere. Okay, that's, uh... Wow. It's not too many. Ow. Uh... Oh, great. Elspeth is down. Done. Oh, Elspeth is just unconscious. She's not dying. Uh, cast sleep here. There we go. Ow! Well, Agrim's dying now. Few items, unequip the sling, equip the broadsword, and there we go. Oh, yeah. Great, hit me. Come on. Come on, do it. Uh, uh. Bandage. Aim. There. Thank you. Thank you. Where are you all going? We're having a party here and you're wanting to leave. Why can't you move? Done. No. Why are you stuck? Hmm. Um. Done. Guard. Yeah, there we go. Yay, we got experience points. Uh, two of our party members are unconscious. Take the money. 336 copper and 6 silver. And what's this? Stuff we don't need. Nope. Okay, um, if I leave this area, will the dungeon reset? Do you want to leave? Yes, I do. Exit. <laughs> we run away, and uh, we get engaged by the kobold army again. Okay, so don't do that. It seems like sometimes it's just, uh... Events, I suppose they don't clear out until you deal with the kobolds completely. It's a bit of a pain. 
load uh, B. No, that's not right. It was C, wasn't it? And we go for time. Okay, well, we're nearly done. I'll probably just go a bit more into the kobold caves. Maybe try and rest again. Maybe we can find a room which we can rest in. I I'd kind of expect there to be at least one. Load C. There we go. C, search. Okay. I mean, as always, I like, I, I'm appreciative of the challenge. Losing items is, uh, Kobold approaches waving a right f white flag. The Kobold bows and says, you are quite dangerous. We will pay for a truce. What do you do? Um, I f agree, refuse, or kill it. What's our goal here? Go to Kobold Caverns. That's really all that I was told to do. Uh, I mean, are kobolds to be trusted? Not really. They're cowardly creatures. It's kind of mean to just kill it, especially if they're willing to parlay with us. That's the thing. A lot of these monsters, they're sort of naturally evil, but uh, they are intelligent. Um, yeah, sure, agree. I am to escort you to our treasure. What do you do? Eh, uh, follow it, sure. It will take us through this area without having to deal with the traps. They'll probably shove us into a room. The kobold pauses, idly taps the wall, then proceeds. The kobold pauses, idly taps the wall, then proceeds. Hmm, okay. A boulder blocks off the passage. Using a lever, the kobold dislodges it and proceeds. Do you? Yes. You clamber noisily down at the bottom. Noise is disturbing. Somehow, with a breathing of wings, a huge beast lands upon you. Oh, jeez. That's a wyvern. Yeah, that's a wyvern. Bam. Dead. Oh, great. So, uh, where's my mouse cursor? I was expecting it to be a trap, but, you know, give them the benefit of the doubt. Have we got to see that whole thing anyway? Oh, uh, man. Wyvern. Uh, 42 hit points. Scores. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Saves. 8, 9, 10, 9, 11. AC. 3. Thacko. 12. Uh, 1 attack per round. 2d8 plus 0. 1 attack per round. 1d6 plus 0. I assume that's its stinger tail. And it's got deadly poison. So yes, uh, wyverns in Dungeons and Dragons are kind of, as you can see, uh, they're two-legged uh, dragonish creatures, but they're not dragons. Uh, they don't have um, elemental breath. But they have a long tail with a stinger on the end. And they have large leathery wings. Um, hmm. Bonk. Done. Oh, yeah. Rivala's just dead. Done in by poison. Uh, cast. Ugh. Bless. Cast. Stinking cloud. There. Cough, cough, cough. Cast. Magic Missile. It's certainly the most powerful creature we've fought. <coughs> Hooray! Erala, you may be dead. You may be poisoned. But you're blessed. Or possibly. Uh. Bonk. Cast... Slow poison? Can't really cast slow poison on you, you're dead. <laughs> cast slow poison. I mean, maybe you're only dead. Uh, exit. 
Not the Wyvern, not Belagar, not Agrim, not Scampers, not Volkmar. Can't cast on Irala because the Wyvern's sitting on top of her. Ah. Uh, no. Manual, just cast it there. I'm sure the uh, Wyvern is very appreciative that we queued poisoned on it. Magic Missile. Oh yeah. Seven points of damage. That was pretty good. Magic Missile. Oh yeah. Also one light dragon, so they don't have magical defense. So. Volkmar's dead. Oh, and we kill it. Ow. God. God. Quit. 336 experience points, but two of us are dead. Uh, and we don't get any loot from that. Um... Hmm. I can't really buff myself before that combat because that wyvern gets into melee with us right from the beginning. The only way I could do that is if we managed to get into combat and it missed. With the Thacko of what? 12 did it have? Not likely to happen. Hmm, wasn't that much experience points. Cobalt seemed to boil up out of nowhere. I'm quite annoyed with you lot, you know. Cast sleep. I mean, you know, I suppose it's my own fault for following them, but hey. They abused my trust. Uh, magic missile. There. What's another dying person? You retreated to attack with your bow? Oh no, they're fleeing. Again, I haven't seen this this uh action in town they don't uh bleed like this in town they just disappear hmm ah. oh, it's still ow <laughs> Parthian shot get back here you sod God, God. And they'll just all flee off the map. Ah. Uh, bandage. <laughs> this egg room won't be dead. Quit. God. And quit. God. God. Oh, yay. Take money. <laughs> we don't need that. I'm actually leaving the money because it's such a pitiful amount. Amongst the nest of something or other, you find a bunch of loot. Uh, take the money. Ooh, ooh wow. 
thousand silver. We can't take it all. A thousand gold, five hundred electrum, two jewelry and two gems. Take the gems. You take the jewelry. Elspeth, how do you? How strong do you feel? Not strong enough to carry all that. Uh, yeah, I can't pool and uh. Take as much as you can. We're going to take it all if I... <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> Take it. Take it. No. My monies. <laughs> I'm down to picking up one gold coin. Egg room. Damn it. Uh. Okay. You can take the magic, use the scroll, under potion. <laughs> oh, we have enough room for that. I'm going to have to leave the rest of the money. Oh, that pains me. Oh well, it's only 165. Nope. So yes, wyverns. Quite nasty. You wish to leave. Oh, there's a... Oh! Yes. Is this the entrance to the large cave? Hey, it is! Okay. That might be a bit better way to go about doing this. Hmm. Well, I wasn't entirely planning on, uh... What's it called? I wasn't exactly planning on accepting that with our dead characters. With the wyvern. So if I could enter the cave here and fight the wyvern on my terms rather than the kobolds leading me to it like that, which was very amusing. Um, I think I'll do that. Uh, Wyverns also, they're not intelligent like dragons. They're pretty much like wild animals. Uh, you'll see in the image there, the wyvern was carrying a cow. I'm sure dragons do that as well, but wyverns pretty much are nuisances. They make nests nearby and they make off with the cattle or herd animals of farms nearby. As well as occasionally people. <laughs> um, I, it, it seems like possibly they hoard, or maybe they just uh, like hoard like dragons, or maybe they just leave stuff which they can't eat. So yes. Uh, let me see. Nope. Wyvern. I pronounce it wyvern. I've also heard wyvern, but uh, I'd always pronounce it wyvern. Oh, actually, the uh, artwork in the game is ex actually based off first edition. I'm just looking at this uh, image here, and it's pretty much exactly the same as what was shown in the game. That's not it. <laughs> That's a land ship. Uh, very nice model. Let me just change this over. Show off the image which popped up briefly on screen for the wyvern. 
Oh, it's a web P. PNG. I need to read up about what this is. It's popped up over the last few years. Why is everything web? Web. Web P. Whatever. Um. Okay. There we go. That's the picture. There's a wyvern carrying away a cow. Um, I like the uh, spiral background it's got there. Okay, a wyvern is a large winged lizard distinctly related to the dragon, with voices, stinging tail, and sharp teeth. Oh, apparently it is related to a dragon. And apparently it is a dragon. Languages, draconic. Oh, maybe they're smarter than I thought they were. I, I always assumed they were just kind of mindless creatures. You never talk to any of them. Okay. They, had dark brown, they have dark brown or grey bodies, around 15 feet, 4 foot 6 meters in length, weighing around a ton. Their huge tails comprise almost half of their bodies, ending in a thick cartilage knot with a stinger protruding out of it, not unlike a scorpion's. Their wingspans could get over 50 feet. Wyvern's jaws were filled with long and sharp teeth, and their eyes are usually red or orange. Creatures only have hind legs as opposed to usual four-legged dragons. They were not greatly intelligent, although they did speak draconic fl fluently. Okay. Uh, among other telltale sounds, wyverns could produce loud hisses and throated growls akin to alligators. Uh, they were not averse to attacking anything less powerful than themselves. Their sneak strong legs provide very proved very useful for an attack. Wyverns are highly aggressive and stupid. Their main combat tactics were diving from above, grabbing the prey with the hind leg claws and stinging it to death. They could also do slashing attacks when flying by. Okay. Uh, this whole wiki lists everything as in the past tense. So. Um, okay. Well, with that knowledge in mind, I think I'm going to encamp. Uh, I'm going to save it on D. So I'm probably going to load B or C next time. Uh, just so that, uh, you know, I can try that fight again on my own terms. Instead of having to deal with all these kobolds here, we can just fight the uh, wyvern and maybe get the jump on it rather than it getting the jump on us. Having a few turns to buff up and also possibly stunning it with a uh, stinking cloud which might not work it's probably got very good defense against that that uh, would probably be better tactic to use however we've seen a few new things uh we fought the ghouls and the white we were successful in that endeavor uh fought a few more goblins we fought some bugbears near the gate um also fought some more scorpions we fought sturges which are completely not what I thought they were. I wonder where I've gotten the Sturge as a raven from. Must be from another setting. It might be from Diablo 2, actually. I think in that there's uh, Sturges, or there's like ravens which are called Sturges in that. Yeah, that sounds... They spawn from those large fleshy sacks on trees in the... Uh, First area with all the uh, rogues. That's right. Are they called surges, or is it one of the variants later on? Whatever, who cares? Uh yes, <laughs> that will. Anyway, that will all be it for Pool of Radiance for tonight. We're making more progress than we were. Sometimes it feels like we're not making progress, but a lot of it's just sort of clearing out areas, developing tactics, overcoming obstacles and uh threats against us and a bit by bit we improve um still it's going to be a lot easier when we get things like fireball one more level away i think but yes that will be it for this one thank you very much for joining me and i hope you'll join me for that